Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in Allahumma fa'ni bima alamtani wa alamni bima yanfa'ni wa zidni alman innaqal alimul hakim My topic today is about medullary nephrocarcinosis What is nephrocarcinosis? It is renal parenchymal classification and the classification can be dystrophic or metastatic classification. The dystrophic classification there is deposition of calcium in ischemic or necrotic tissue and as it occurs in tumors, abscess, hematomas. But the metastatic nephrocarcinosis, it is occur with cases with hypercalcemic state, most of the cases. And it is caused by hyperparathyroidism, renal tubular acidosis, renal medullary, renal, sorry, renal failure. And uh, metastatic nephrocarcinosis can be further categorized by location, and it is either located in the in the in the cortex or located in the medulla. Medullary nephrocarcinosis or cortical nephrocarcinosis. What are the causes of the cortical nephrocarcinosis? It is include acute uh, to, uh, cortical nef- necrosis, chronic glomerulonephritis, chronic hypercalcemic states, ethylene glycol poisoning, sickle cell disease, renal transplant rejection. But the most common causes in the medullary defocalcinosis include hyperparathyroidism and it is account about 40% of cases and renal tubular acidosis in about 20% of cases, medullary sponge kidney, bone metastasis, chronic bilonephritis, Cushing syndrome, hypo, hy- hyperthyroidism, malignancy, renal babillary necrosis, sarcoidosis, sickle cell disease, vitamin D intoxication or excess, and Wilson disease. Here we see a patient with medullary sponge kidney. As we see here, these are increased in the oxygenicity of the medulla and appear as medullary rings. There is theory about this. The theory, it is called the anderson carr Randall theory. And it is, he postulated that the concentration of calcium is high in the fluid around the renal tubules and the calcium removed by lymphatics and uh, if the amount exceeds the lymphatic capacity the deposition of calcium occurs in the fornicial, fornicial tips and margin of medulla result. The ultrasound manifestation of early medullary calcification are non-shadowing Rims, as we see here, it is non shadowing rims of medullary biomids and increased medullary ecogenicity caused by the medullary sponge kidney. It can be normal transient finding also in a new net. Further calcium deposition results in acoustic shadowing and the calcification may perforate the calyx and form anidus for stone growth. This is the Anderson Carl Randall theory about the increased calcium deposition around the furnace, furnaces 
and the margin of the medulla give us like a ring and that ring it is medullary ring of medull calcification here another patient with medullary nephrocarcinosis and we see that increased echogenicity of the medulla and a rim like pattern as we said and also the medullary biorhythmics and several of them shows shadowing of calculi punctate several punctate shadowing calculi as we see here as we see here here more severe cases of medullary nephrocarcinosis and we see the medullary calcification in with shadowing in patient with renal tubular acidosis here we have the summarized the list of causes of nephrocalcinosis as we described before can be medullary can be cortical and here the list of the differential diagnosis and thank you for listening and hoping to see you in another talk